Hey guys, welcome back to some Age of Mythology. So first of all, I moved my computer downstairs in this place, so I'm not next to that bird anymore, so you guys aren't gonna get ear raped um, if you're listening to speakers, I mean headphones, but yeah, I'm just uh, downstairs here, we're gonna see how the quality is for recording and all that. Uh, it seems to be pretty fine though so far, so let's jump straight into it. We're gonna look at a 2 versus 2 Greek mirror matchup. So Zeus and Hades versus Zeus and Hades. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I remember we're all random gods on this too, so this is quite a coincidence. Uh, so the map is uh, Midgard, you know, everyone's least favorite map out there. Um, um, okay, so my ally is Hades uh, facing the Zeus, and I'm Zeus facing the Hades. So a total mirror matchup. Um, no granary here. I mean, he is pretty close to his town center, but I'm just uh, just surprised by that. Mm, 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 mm. I'm just gonna speed through because there's nothing that happens early on except this. Oh my goodness! <gasps> Woo! Two health of my villager, barely survived. Okay, so Doc's coming out. Um, pretty good water for teal, I must say. Red's got, well, red, Red's got an okay water. Um, I got a pretty good water too, and Green's got the worst of us all. I think so <laughs> okay nice start to the game oh he's actually saving on a granary this is an interesting strategy um, he's not gonna make a granary because he will make even more fishing ships early on that is awesome keep in mind I only have like one he's got four so far so this is um this is definitely very creative I haven't seen this before but I'm sure it's common I just you know I don't really play Greek so um, so he's already got eight on wood. He's all in on fishing ships right now. Uh, I'm surprised he can even produce villagers without getting, uh, getting stopped. Just like that. So he barely got stopped. Not too bad. He could just drop off his food. Yeah, definitely nothing too bad. This is awesome. He's going all in on fishing ships. Non-stop production. Now nine is still a little bit way too much like I'd say that's an overkill but he could at least expand docks early on if you want to so this is a very awesome strategy coming out from green uh, very very awesome keep in mind guys that every fishing ship is just like an extra villager so he is far ahead of others let me just check population 21 um, I'm at 20 not too much of a difference but um, I feel like he's ahead I still feel like he's ahead Despite the population matchups and whatever. Okay, so looking at Red, uh, he's also got lots of fishing ships out. Um, very great play from everyone so far. So, time to speed through a little bit more. Nothing too much happening. Another bear survival. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Um, hmm. Still no granary. Now he could easily go for a granary though, so I'm, I'm sure that after that cow is depleted he can go for one. Um, nice temple placement. Mm. Hmm. 27 population. 28. How, how am I matched up? Hmm, that's weird. <coughs> Alright. Alright. Okay, so Temple's coming out. Let's look at the advancement times. I'm clicking 5.30. 5.30. Uh, Perna is fastest, it seems. And net, not even start to advance. So this is the drawback of going all in on wood. Look at that. 11 wood choppers. That's way too much. You don't need much more than 6 when you're Greek. Honestly, 8 is a good cap. If you go anywhere above 8 like this guy, then all you're going to do is delay your classical age timing. So, he started off well, but right now, considering he still hasn't even started to advance, this may put him back quite a bit in the game. Everyone's just advanced, he is about to just begin advancing, so we'll see what happens, we'll see what happens. This is a lesson uh, for all of us guys, do not go too much into wood before you try to advance. Okay, so advanced, um, no f no uh, fighting ships or whatever, no uh, warship production, but he is going heavy on land straight away. So, uh, raiding coming out, he might go centaurs from the looks of it. Uh, definitely proper uh, setup for centaurs. So it seems like he could go for centaurs, Hippicon coming in with the back, and archery range just added on there. So he's going very heavy on land, uh, whereas red is actually going on sea first. 
Yeah, that's right. Nothing on land. No production there. So uh, it seems like I feel as if uh, Teal may get an upper hand against Red in the early game. Especially if he gets this scouted out right here. Uh, so I'm running in with my Centaur, just a scouting party. Uh, no upgrades for Green. Green seems to be the noobish player in this match. There's always one noobish player. Um, he is advancing late and he doesn't have, have any upgrades. So I'm going to for sure th say that Green is the noobish player. Uh, here comes the raid. May get a villager pick. Um, oh, ho, ho! he actually missed the special shot. Did he? No, he didn't. That, that would have been weird. I feel like Centaurs never miss their special attack. So um, he should get a villager pick here. Um, someone bolted. I bolted probably a hero or something. Oh, Cyclops. Okay. Okay, nice, nice. And here comes the first villager pick of the day. Shabam. He could go for almost another one. Um, that's alright though. Let me just see how I'm doing in resources. I'm doing pretty good, but I am capped out, which means uh, I should make some houses. BMF, everyone's doing fairly evenly. Um, good stuff. Look at this. Already going for Vault of Erebus. That's awesome. Alright, so he's got a nice defensive play coming out with the Sentinels. Um, although Teal has the upper hand with army, this should be enough defense for him. Just the Sentinels and defensive play. So, Teal is just producing uh, units very slowly. I'm not sure if he's going to make... He is making warships. So, it seems like he took a little pause on the land. And now he's going more into water. I'm going to conquer the seas. Um, just a Centaur coming through here. Wonder what upgrades I have. Okay, so I'm going tier 2 upgrades now. That's awesome. Got to get those up early. Um, nothing much happening. I'm just going to scroll through it once again. Nice, nice, okay. So far I got the upgrade advantage in the game. I think. But look at Perna's score. Perna is topping the game. Alright, so uh, there goes his hero. Oh, oh, we have action. Okay, so <laughs> six warships coming out. I think he could actually just take over the seas here. He doesn't have to pull back at all. Um, there are people here that he could pick off. Uh, I don't know if that's lucky or what, but he actually came here at the perfect time. Yeah, that's pretty lucky. Okay, so you can pick off this Ajax and Hoplite all for free. Uh, it's 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 hard for them to run away at this point, so I feel like that Ajax will die as well. I was wrong. He's going to survive barely. <laughs> he did lose a lot of health and a Hoplite. Definitely not necessary. Um, but a massive army with medium Hippicon is in there in defense. Uh, I don't think Red can do any penetration here. And he actually chooses to attack the building. <laughs> this is not ideal. Um, okay, so he should be pulling back now. He is falling back on the seas and on land. Perna is just dominating. So uh, what's going on here? I'm just moving in with some Hippicon and whatever. It seems like Red's also, I mean, uh, Green's also losing uh, land here. But we haven't had any warship fights. <gasps> In fact, both of us have a massive amount of Trems, but we haven't even attacked at all. So, uh, that's kind of weird. Another relic there. I wonder what it is. Increases cavalry and carried archer hit points. Uh, keep in mind, I already got one relic from a cavalry to get, gain faster speed. And now I'm going to gain more hit points just from relics. That is awesome. Woo! Two cavalry relics. I'm definitely going to go heavy in on cavalry. So... Oh yeah, I got two stables, medium upgrades coming out. That's that's awesome. Uh, gonna click up to heroic real soon. All right, so Freaky is on the defensive side. That means he can't go up to heroic anytime soon. Um, he can't really do much. He he shouldn't be expanding or anything like that because he is playing defensive. But Teal, on the other hand, is expanding right here, and we don't have the line of sight information to know about that. So. Um, that's very dangerous. Perna actually just built a settlement back here as well. So Perna, Perna, Perna sorry, is going three town centers. He's so far ahead in the game. This is very dangerous. Green is going to lose a couple of villagers here. He's got nice defense though. Uh, the Sentinels and everything. Just got 30 more hit points. Oh, okay, 15 and 15 here. Okay, that's awesome. So basically just upgraded my Hippicons tremendously. Uh, this town center is going to go up though. 
And here's the distracting raid. His army's gonna pull back. He's not gonna see this town center go up. And before you know it, it's up. He doesn't even mind losing these guys. That's how you roll. Uh, you better just distract the enemy. Get his town center. And Shazam. Wait a minute. One, two, three. So Red's town centers are uh, here, I think. So that's actually Teal's town center from the looks of it. Wait, one, two, three, one, two, three. Somehow this is not... Wait, this is Red's town center. And these are my town centers. Okay, that makes sense. So he definitely did steal a nice town center there. I'm just coming in, in, in with a little raid. Hoping to get a few villager picks. Okay. Three town centers though. I'm just blown away. Wow. Uh, he's not looping villagers just yet, but he definitely will be soon. Farming coming out of the back. Awesome stuff. Uh, upgrades and all. Yeah, okay, so he's got full tier 1 upgrades on a 3 town center boom, which is really awesome. Um, I'd say a 1 town center heavy upgraded strategy is not any better than a 3 town center boom, but it's definitely not too far behind. Normally 1 town center is way behind 3 town centers, but having those tier 2 upgrades early on is actually giving me an advantage right now. Uh, and he will take the advantage in a few minutes though, because that's how 3 town centers works. Uh, so here comes a further raid. Right now, I'm trying to distract him. Let's see, my Hippicons are a bit stronger due to the relics, and I also have an attack bonus. I'm not sure how I got that one. That's kind of weird. Um, oh, I upgraded this as well now. Okay, so I got massive speed. Wow. If I sent in my cavalry without the Centaur, I'd actually have tremendous speed right now. 6.6. .6. That's awesome. Alright, so here comes the fight. Red... Moving in, Perna actually using ceasefire a little bit early on, I'd say, because he had the upper hand here. Um, he also had the upper hand here, barely. So uh, maybe he—I'm not sure what that was, but either way, I'm taking advantage of advantage of this ceasefire straight away, taking a town center here. Um, and Red's also taking town centers, so I feel like we're all just catching up with this ceasefire here. Uh, very nice, very nice. Now, Red is heavy on archers, so I'm not sure how much damage he can deal to Teal. Uh, like, he can deal some real damage, it's just that this town center is definitely in the way, so... Uh, he's got advance to do anything about that, but unfortunately he's so far behind in economy, due to being defensive and having three town centers, that it's just hard. Mm -hmm. So I just got three town centers up. And that's it. Okay, here comes the water fight here. Teal does have a slight upper hand. I think Teal... No, I was going to say, I think Teal's advancing, but he is definitely near going heroic. Um, pushing back Red's army once again. Another fight going on here. Now, because I'm advanced, I feel like I do have an upper hand here. As long as I just mass up my army instead of running in. Uh, I could definitely deal some real damage. And okay, now he's getting upgrades out. Lots of gold miners. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. This is another one of those two versus two matches. Oh, I wasn't even looking here. I'm losing the water now, by the way. Um, this is another one of those matches where um, I am basically tied... Oh, <laughs> I got some idols. I'm basically tied up with teal and red's tied up with green. So it's like another cross, cross match. I've had quite a few matches like that, actually. Alright, so if I produce uh, just a couple of Skylas, then I should be good to defend the water. Um, so I'm not I'm not producing yet. I'm actually... Oh, I have more ships here. My ships are all over the place. I really need to get better unit control. Uh, but there's a little fight here, killing some units. Teal's moving in with his raiding army. He did get a few villager picks, and the gold miners are running back now. Armory going up for red. It seems like he will advance soon. Uh, these archers aren't really doing much. I feel like they should be raiding or something like that. Uh, but green is going to destroy my docks. Skylas are not going to come out. Population capped. <clears throat> so once again, my units die. I feel like I, I'm not massing up somehow. Like I totally maxed out my population, but he keeps killing my units despite me having a big advantage. Now I'm actually pushing green back. So as long as I can prevent this fortress, I can deal some real damage around that area. Uh, lots of warships coming out for Red. He is definitely going to push back on the sea, actually. Didn't expect that. 
This is a bad position. Like I said, these archers can't do much when there's a town center here. So they should really be pulling back now. Lots of cavalry here to kill the army. That is unfortunate. Uh, still no Skylas here. I'm losing the water slowly. But the fortress is going to be prevented, I think. Uh, this Hydra with like five heads basically one hits villagers. I wish I could heal my guy, but I can't. Um, if I could heal this guy back up, look at that. This is like the best myth unit ever with five heads. Like, it can one hit guys, it can deal massive damage to buildings. It's just an awesome unit. Alright, so now I'm getting in a trickle of units, but once again, Green is somehow um, pushing back my army. Like, I thought I had a big advantage here, and he doesn't have any watchtowers or anything, but he's still kind of pushing my army back. Either way, I'm getting some massive picks with my Hydra here. This is an awesome position. Um, he is going to pull back, and I'm probably going to lose this Hydra. But I have to pull back here. Red's pulling back, finally. And on the seas, Red's pushing. And here are my ships about to die. Okay, nothing too bad. Uh, I think I need some fortified town centers. So, Teal's got probably 160. Yeah, he's about to go mythic with 160 population. Teal's doing really, really good. Gotta speed it up a little bit. No action here. Uh, Teal coming in with some raiding. And Red's still trying to push him back a little bit. If that fortress goes up, that is danger, danger, danger. Um, so quick check. Nothing much going on here. Awesome upgrades. Mm, tier 2, basically. Tier 3, basically. So I think that's the only, only reason why I still have a scored badge over Teal. Is because uh, I have tier 3 upgrades. Once again, the upgrade advantage is giving the upper hand. So although he's been like two steps ahead of me this whole game, I still have a scored advantage just because of my upgrades. All right, all right. Uh, so hero coming out for red. Awesome stuff. More raiding coming in the back. This must be really annoying. This is an awesome spot to raid though. 25 idle villagers. Um, warships, not really too useful. And he did get the fortress up. He's getting some positioning going on here. This is red's gold mine just taken down. So he's only got these two mines remaining, or, or these three I should say. Four. Okay, he's got lots of gold. Let's not worry about gold. Uh, this four town center is unprotected, but we should be good. I think we got an upper hand right now. We're forward here. It's just that Teal's pushing into Red's base. I'm getting a little bit too personal there. Uh, somebody used an underworld passage. I don't know where that is. From here to here. Okay, so they're kind of connecting each other's defenses. Getting more fortresses up on my side. Uh, I got a major overflow of gold. Keep in mind, guys, you have to balance your resources and economy. So right now I got way too much gold, and uh, seems like not too much of everything else, but that's all right. Should be evened out soon. All right, so I'm gonna attack here, seemingly. Uh, see if I can do any damage to Teal. Uh, green coming in through the Underworld Passage for defense, and I head back to defend Red's Town Center. Now, now Siege with Myth are an unstoppable combination. This Colossus would have just destroyed that town center if we didn't use ceasefire. Look at this massive army. So I think we need Bellerophon. Once I advance the, to the Mythic Age, I can spam uh, heroes. <clears throat> and that's the only way we can uh, prevent Colossus spam. Because Colossus spamming is very overpowered. Keep playing the ceasefire, you cannot build fortresses or towers. Uh, another Underworld Passage used up from Red's base to here. So we're both uh, establishing a nice route of defense. Oh, one second, guys. Alright, so here's the Bronze God Power for that team. Uh, massive, massive, massive damage here. But if that Colossus can go down, we're going to keep this Town Center standing up. So we still got heroes uh, pumping out in this location. Some nice warships in the back, by the way. Uh, so the Town Center is still standing up. And they don't have enough reinforcements with Siege uh, to defeat that Town Center. So there's some here, but that's too far away. I think we're going to stay standing. Here's the Earthquake, though. I didn't see that one coming. Underworld Passage destroyed. Town Center destroyed. Red's buildings destroyed. All of my buildings took heavy damage. That was awesome. So Green just used his Earthquake God Power because he advanced through, um, through Artemis rather than Hephaestus. And here comes the Chimera. 
Chimera or whatever. Chimera? I think it's Chimera. And that unit, by the way, is super powerful powerful against human units. Anyways, here comes my Siege Spam with uh, Colossus Edition. Um, and here's the Be Bellerophon. And he's getting Myrmidons out. Perna's getting Myrmidons. Uh, upgrades are being spammed out right now. So this is awesome. Everyone's stepping up the game. In fact, the only player who isn't Mythic is Red due to his uh, early delays. So he's going to be really far behind fighting against maxed out armory upgrades. So uh, both Perno and I are going max soon enough. I think uh, Green should also be maxing out actually. No, he didn't upgrade. Oh yeah, he's Artemis, so he can't really max out fast upgrades. But yeah, both uh, Teal and I are going to be maxing out upgrades. So he's going to give way more damage against Red, and I'm going to give way more damage against Green. Um, very interesting rotation of the map. So I'm also adding in Mermidans to my spam, but Teal is dealing some real damage. Was that Red's? I, don't, I think that was Red's, uh, Red's Fortress that uh, just got destroyed. But Teal's is already gone, which was here a while ago. Champion Hippicon with maxed out armor upgrades. Now this is unstoppable. He must spam Prodromos to even deal any damage here. Now high pass pits are totally useless because uh, there are no infantry. So uh, one thing Red should keep on top of is uh, switching his counters. All these high pass pits, which is like half of his army, are completely useless. He should be making uh, hoplites instead. Uh, on the seas, I am losing the battle, but I did pump out some Skylas in defense. And moving a little bit forward, trying to reclaim this settlement. I don't know, Teal's coming in here to defend. Um, Green's still standing strong, actually. I'm surprised about that. I've been like fighting in this position for years. Uh, he's getting some gastro feats out too. Oh, another earthquake! This was awesome! Taking down Teal's forward base. Wow, I wonder if Red can claim over this position now. Uh, Teal's actually got a huge advantage in army, uh, mostly due to the upgrades. And I think BMF's population is definitely declining, so he should be pulling back right now, gathering up an army if he can mass spam it. Uh, he does have tier 1 army upgrades, so he's not all too far behind. But he's still way too far behind, let's be honest, in upgrades. Um, I'm fighting here. Nothing much happening, honestly. I want more action. So here I find Green's other gold mine. Gonna establish security there. Uh, he just ran out of gold back here. Let's see his resources. Not much gold. Not much at all. So as long as I can gold starve him, this is the only other gold mine he has access to right now. As long as I can uh, push this off, he will be punished in gold. Now Teal is rapidly reclaiming this position. Um, nobody really did anything against it. Red's too far behind and I'm too far away. So Teal's actually untouched by that earthquake. Uh, his army is too powerful. He's actually spamming out uh, Myrmidons and Prodromos of his own. So he's just... Like, I don't know, he's just uh, mixing up his unit combination all the time. So now he needs high pass pits and Prodromos, probably some archers too, that they could be helpful. Um, very, very tight position for Red. Uh, he can't really do too much, especially against these Siege. Villagers, even Villagers are kind of weak against Greek Siege. That's just kind of an exception. Uh, so here I do reclaim the settlement. It seems like water has been reclaimed. Uh, defended off at least. More villager picks in the back. How's the gold? Uh, I do get denied with my fortress. He's got like 30 villagers or, or so on gold. Actually 31. So uh, let's see how Perna's doing. Really good. Not too much gold. I'm surprised he doesn't have a mass spam of gold, but he's doing really good. Because um, I just have a mass spam of everything. Um, this, this fourth town center is really helpful right now. <laughs> okay, so uh, yep, here we go. Red's Town Center is about to fall down. If Teal claims this, now he's going to have a huge upper hand. Keep in mind, four Town Centers is a massive advantage. So this is going to be very tough for our team to defend. Uh, in fact, BMF just resigned the game. So now it's, uh, now it's me. Uh, I guess I have to destroy Green as best as I can. And then it's a one versus one against Teal. Uh, that resign, I feel, was a little bit early. Because if he just hung on for a little bit longer, I could have uh, wiped out green. And yeah, I'm not sure. So now I'm going to pull back probably here. Uh, uh oh, no, my market. I can't trade anymore with uh, my ally. That sucks. So I'm going to have to reduce my trading to 
my own town centers. Keep in mind that trading with yourself is only half the profit as trading with your allies. So here we go. Uh, he is sending some Colossus to my four town centers. Some siege and positioning back here. I want to defend this. Destroy that as best as I can. Uh, the only challenge is that green is going to come out with siege, gastrofeats, or even like even catapults. So that's going to be challenging for me to defend off. I did lose my four town center here. One Colossus down. That Manticore fell too, but my Bellerophon is trapped and that falls. I didn't even get to destroy this town center. I'm coming back here to defend. I can't let them build that town center up. I have four town centers, but if he gets five, I am screwed. Completely screwed. So I need to go back there, uh, defend it as best as I can. Cannot let this one go up. I have 200 population, but I'm not sure where my army's at. Uh, ooh, this is awesome. I can take my allies' town centers. Now I have five town centers up. If I can move here, defend this location, get six, that would be awesome. So let's see what's going on. My army just came in at the perfect time. It seems like I will defend this location as best as I can. That Blur Often hero is extremely powerful. Uh, here's my gold mine. Where is Green gathering gold from? That's my question. He's not gathering from here where he could be. Maybe he was pushed off or something, but uh, Green seems to be in a tight trap. Two Colossus coming in the back town centers. Very, very powerful. Uh, let's see if I can get this town center up though, meanwhile. So trickling army incoming from Perna, but that's not good enough. He needs an army spammed up, which he's doing back here. And with that, he could actually attack, deal some massive damage. Another two Colossi coming back here. Very hard to defend because he's got an army. Uh, luckily for me, Red's still defending for me. And with his towers and stuff too, so that's awesome. These Colossi, though, are extremely powerful. I can't really do much against that. In fact, I just lost my town center back here, just as I killed the two Colossi. Woo! Okay, so up here, uh, just uh, securing this position. If I can secure that. And reclaim my town centers, that would be awesome. Here's where he's gathering all his favor from, so as long as I can uh, do some damage here, he's going to stop producing Colossi temporarily. Now, I did lose another town center, by the way, which is back here. 200 favor! If he could just mass up some uh, temples, then he could definitely spam Colossi like no tomorrow. In fact, he should be uh, producing Colossus from all of his temples. So he's got two active right now. I'd say he needs four or five. If he can do that... Then he could mass Colossi like crazy and uh, pretty much be unstoppable, I think. Like, mass Colossus is so hard to defend. So, right now he doesn't have population, but he does have too much favor. So, he really just needs to mass up a little bit better. Uh, Green's actually still fighting water. I'm surprised about that. I don't know where my, my uh, Skylas are, but he's still trying to fight water. Alright, so a little bit of damage here. He is taking this town center, though. That's danger, danger. I gotta defend this. Uh, I should defend this at least. This is like, this is moving straight into Red's base, and I don't want that. Now I am gonna destroy this uh, Colossus producing temple. Um, mom, mom, mom. And it's about time for me to start destroying Green. So the problem is, if I destroy Green, then Teal's gonna destroy my back base here, uh, take over more town centers, and he's actually gaining more power than I want. So, it takes a while to destroy green while teal will gain massive power just by me being distracted here. Uh, on the positive side, green does not have any gold, I think. Uh, he barely has any production, so he's pretty much screwed right now. He's going to stick around though. This is kind of what you should do because like, even, even if you only have a couple villagers left in a team game, as long as you stick around, you can pull out some crazy tricks from the back. Look at this, he's got 31 favor gatherers. Oh man. Oh, that smells danger. Okay, so I am kind of screwed here. This town center will fall. Um, just as I'm claiming Green's town centers, I'm basically losing my own all the way everywhere, like in the back and stuff. So this is not, not good. Uh, massive Siege spam coming out. Luckily for me though, he doesn't have massive Colossus spam yet. Like he's definitely got the population and stuff, he just didn't mass up his temple production. <clears throat> Let's see how my favorite is doing. I only got 9, I'm also maxed out. Uh, I'm trying to produce from multiple temples, still need way more production and uh, definitely more population too. So I, got, I still got six town centers, although I'm losing them one at a time. This is my next one. 
I'm still producing some in the back. So I'm going straight to Teal's back base. This is awesome because if he moves to my back base, then at least I'm picking off his back base too. So there's no reason for either of us to, to be attacking in the back. We should actually just be engaging each other straight up now. Uh, it's basically a one-on-one. -on -one. Green's almost out of the game. Uh, and now we're just rotating around the map. He's getting my back town center here. I am just picking up his town center here. Now the advantage I have is that I actually sent villagers with my army. So I'm picking up that town center straight away. Oh, never mind. He's got villagers too. Yeah, I was wrong there. Um, all right, still though, he's down to four town centers now, trying to pick up this one. If I can, if I can uh, defend this location just with one Colossus, even, then that would be awesome to prevent this town center from going up. And if that town center does not go up, then I will still have a one town center advantage over him, which is a massive population advantage right now. Uh, so that's all I am living on as we speak. I gotta defend this location though, can't lose more population. He's down to three town centers. Right now I got 40 population advantage. That's awesome. 40 population in advantage. So if I can destroy some units here, he cannot reproduce it until he gets his population back. So this is my time to shine. Right now is when I got an upper hand, but he just completed another town center. So I, I feel like I should send some uh, sneaky Colossus in the back here and destroy some of, his, some of his town centers if I can. That's pretty much all I can do. So my villagers are defending this location as best as they can. But there are Gastrofeeds in the back too. So I think, I think I'm still good here though. I think. Um, just destroyed his main. Trying to pick up his main town center. Um, right on, right on. Okay, so now he's coming back to defend. He doesn't want me to steal his main town center. So he's coming with a Colossus and Siege. That basically prevents me from building it totally. Uh, so I'm just going to defend that location. I just lost my back town center, though. I didn't think I would lose that one. Uh, so now i got to defend here before he gets anything up. And this forward town center, I'm going to try to rebuild. Unfortunately, he's still sending Siege and Colossus, which is plenty of damage to prevent me from rebuilding. I uh, just got to tower up in defense. This should be good enough to defend against any small attacks. Uh, actually, that was his. I'm just destroying his towers right now. But this Bellerophon and that Hippicon should be enough. Should be enough. So now I'm being pushed back. Green is coming in to assist. Uh, lots of archers here and whatnot. So I gotta defend this town center as long as I can. Now keep in mind, Perna just got drained in gold. So I destroyed uh, Green's town center. So his market is dead. He's actually um, he actually has to rebuild it here. So he's going to get way less gold, but he doesn't have a gold mine active right now, which means I feel like he should take all these guys off of favor and just send them on gold right here. That's what he should be doing. Um, so luckily for me, I still have a mass amount of resources. So whatever happens, even if I lose all my villagers, I'm still good. Pretty much as if this is a death match. I can still produce uh, forever. All right, so here we go. Teal is reclaiming his main. He is pushing back and going to destroy the back base. But I'm reclaiming my back base at the same time. And I'm going to attack back here. And I still haven't reclaimed the middle though. The middle is a total war zone. Now, because Teal doesn't have gold. I don't know this from my point of view. But from his point of view, because he doesn't have gold. Um, it's going to be a struggle to repopulate his military. Let me check how much gold... Ah. Uh, I just missed it. I'm curious how much gold these caravans produce. I want to see how much mine give because they're probably the same amount. Um, 34, right? So that's not that's not too good. Uh, Villager could produce gold faster, I believe, but that's all right. Uh, at least it's still an infinite production of gold. And I am getting the middle town center up, I believe. He is a little bit distracted here, and and got it. Awesome. That's what I needed. So as long as I get that up and I deal some damage in the back. Uh, now I feel like I do have an upper hand, a serious upper hand, I should say. So I got six town centers secured, and um, no attacks here, surprisingly. But six town centers, this one might fall for for him. Except he just brought in a lot of heroes. I don't know what to do about that. But lots of siege and myth units in the middle. Uh, let's see if I can defend off this town center. That's gonna be a struggle. As long as I get my Bellarof and out, I should be good, but I don't have any population to do that. The Siege are falling fast. It's just the two Colossi that are very strong. Um, his Town Center is still standing too, so that's kind of dangerous. Okay, six to four Town Centers. I do have an upper hand. I just need to defend this location. I'm slowly losing health. Actually, very quickly losing health. I need that Bellarof and Hero out right now. 
If I can kill one Colossus, I could actually potentially keep this down. Townsend is standing. Oh, I just killed it. Oh, just killed it. And I'm barely standing at 100 health, repairing just a bit faster than I'm being destroyed. So awesome. Still standing with that town center. I need that population right now. Uh, I'm losing resources too at this point, but that's all right. I can still move on to mine gold here, if anything, but I just need more caravans. I still got a gold mine here too, so I, I still got lots of gold in the bank if I need it. Um, we're all losing resources at this point though. Um, I, I really should be spreading out my Colossus and Siege a bit better. So I got like 10 Colossus here. Basically an unstoppable army. This is a death ball. Lots of Siege, lots of Myth, a little bit of fully upgraded units as well. Uh, so this is totally unstoppable. Uh, here I go, sending out three Colossus, probably somewhere back here, and splitting off my army. At this point, Teal should be falling back behind. Uh, dying slowly, I should say. I didn't realize that Green had a town center this whole time. Where is that? It says Green's got one town center. Uh, I'm not too sure where that is, but... Oh, back here! Nice! Wow, okay. Okay, so Green's been getting back in the game very slowly. These Colossus are going to go back to this town center, going to finish destroying that. Awesome. Going to claim this, now I'm going to get 7 town centers. Still increasing in gold as well, so I feel like now I'm unstoppable. More Colossi back here. No counter really. No real counter. Good game. Fernot just resigned. That's game over. Wow. What a game. Town center built, and that's it. Good game, good win. That was awesome. Uh, when uh, BMF Freaky resigned, I totally thought I was screwed, but I just hung in there for a little bit longer. I literally said GG when I was playing this. And I was like, wait, just wait one more minute. And then I realized, wait, I can still play this. So <laughs> that was a good game. I love that. Awesome stuff. Uh, so I think it's the gold that got me ahead. I was like seven grand ahead of Teal there. Uh, all because of trades, by the way. And everything else was fairly, fairly even. Ha! <laughs> 22 Colossus each. Awesome. Alright, good game, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And there should be better quality because there's no bird here squeaking anymore. Uh, so I'll try to do some commentaries down here. I'll see you guys next time.